Hey everyone, this is Pastor Brian Cash, the pastor of East Mount Zion Baptist Church, and I have the amazing privilege to introduce Brother Terrence Claggett, uh, who is not only one of our great new members here at the church, uh, but happens to be the head coach at uh, Marshall High School here in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, and a very involved, educated young brother uh, who's going to share uh, his story around voting and the significance of voting. Uh, this is a very important season uh, that Cleveland, Ohio is in, and um, it is a electoral season where we are hoping that we get as many people to, number one, be educated voters, be registered voters, and we're hoping that as a result of this work that we're doing, uh, more people will show up to the polls. And we thank God for Ms. Stephanie Adams, who is leading this effort. And so Terrence is going to share this story, and I hope that you are moved and hope you are excited as a result of the words that he will share. Hi, my name is Terrence Cleggett. Um, I want to thank Pastor Cash for um, having me here today and also our leader of the Social Justice Ministry, Stephanie Adams. And they've asked me to give you a quick story about the importance of voting and why it matters to me. So it kind of goes back to the first time I voted. Um, it was the general election in 2008 with President Obama. And it was just a rush of excitement to be there. I mean, I even skipped two classes just to stay in line, just to vote. And I didn't really understand the importance of voting then, but as things have changed, especially in our community in Cleveland, voting is key. A lot of people think, you know, nobody cares about our rights, nobody cares about our views and our opinions, but voting is really the only way you can do that. So if you don't vote, you really don't really have a say or even a right to complain about the policies that are being passed in our city. So especially with this year in 2021, there's no presidential election going on. It's all centered around local politics. And those are what we kind of notice immediately for the future, more than what happens in the federal government with Congress and the president. So with this mayoral election, but also with the issues going on, um, issue 24, big ones coming up with in terms of keeping you know our police accountable for their actions throughout the community um, that policy right there is going to trigger a lot of emotion but it also is going to change the way things happen in this city not just for us as adults but for our children and our grandchildren for the next 20 25 years in cleveland so things like that that we don't think matter it does because you never know say you get pulled over by a cop anything can happen, but if there's no accountability, we see the stories of Tamir Rice, we see the stories of George Floyd, things like that matter, but if we don't first address it with our electoral process, all the change in the posts that we make on social media go for naught. So I'm just encouraging you all, especially as young black people, and more in particular, black men, uh, we know voter turnout among black men are very low compared to women. And then voter turnout in Cleveland is low. I mean, less than 30% of eligible voters in this city voted the last election. That's a problem in this city. But we all see Cleveland has done a lot of changes, but it can be a lot better if we all actively participate in our community and participate in the voting process. So that's what I wanted to share with you all today.